Hi Louise, um, thank you for joining me today to talk about the, your recent experience on the IC Agile um, Coach Transitions course that you um, came along um, and participated in. So um, I really, a couple of questions. The first question is really, um, what is it that you had hoped to gain from coming along on the programme? Um, and did you achieve that? Um, thanks for having me. Um, great to answer. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, uh, uh, the aim of the course for me was shifting from projects that are running uh, or have run in a very traditional waterfall style to um, shifting change activities and tasks and practices to fit um, an agile um, methodology that they're trying to stand up here at Horizon Power. Um, so that was the, the main aim that, yeah, after chatting to you, when we caught up, it was um, it seemed like the perfect perfect course for me to, to acquire some of those skills. And it certainly has, has done that. It's um, really changed um, my view on what um, I can and I need to apply to these initiatives moving forward. Um, and literally from week one, I, I, I applied the learning straight away. I've got my Kanban board set up and yeah, so the real, real practical um, content that you can just go in and apply straight away, which was just amazing. Yeah, yeah. And how have you found that in the organisation? Have you found that it's, it's changed the conversation? It certainly changed the conversation with my sponsors and my product um, owners. Um, I, I think the, the glue that tied it all together for me were the change canvases, um, and especially around that, that key messaging that, look, it's not necessarily about the canvas itself, but it's the conversations um, they can invoke and the great outcomes you get from those conversations and uh, changing how you can position the initiative and its impact on people with just a few simple questions has really got the, the, the product owners, the sponsors, and also the SMEs just thinking in a slightly different way about mm. how it is going to impact their, their end users, their customers, um, and, and yep. just reframed it. And you can see these little light bulbs go on. And, and the beauty of it was just after a bit of gentle guidance and coaching, she didn't leave them too much, that, that they came up with, how they wanted to do it. So that co-design, co co-design of that change management process just yeah. clearly played out from, from just that one simple tool it itself was yeah, amazing. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, those the change canvases are, are amazing. And um and I particularly have I find storytelling canvas um as something that's been a really, really useful tool in the yeah. groups that I've used because it gives them that um license to tell a story about where they've been, um, what was successful, but also then acknowledging that things need to change. Yeah, in, in a really positive way and almost mm. allows them to um, like dump that baggage they've been carrying from, from, from SCARD, from, pre yeah. from previous it's projects. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, but it puts it in a really positive way that, yes, this is what ha has happened in the past. This is why we're here. And this is why we're, we're, we're trying to move forward. It frames it in a story in their words. It's not yeah. um, corporate speak, as I like to call it, because I yeah. always say to the guys, whatever messaging we're putting out there, please think of who your audience is. So it's a liney. They won't care about saving efficiencies or increased productivity. They just want to know what they get in, what they get in their hands, what they're going to touch, what they're going to use. So it's really yeah. helped engage those those conversations that gets them really connected to who we're delivering for. Brilliant, brilliant. So what would you say to somebody listening to this about if they're considering about coming on the program? I do it. Um, B do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think if you're serious about your change practice and how you um, want to continue on in your workplace, it's just such a great set of tools to have in your kit. It's something else that you can draw down on, um, like right at the beginning in it, and if you read the reference material and listen to, to the videos, it's not something that's hard and fast. It's not a methodology. It's not a framework. It's, you know, it's quite fluid. Um, and I think it allows you to draw down 
and incorporate with your ProSci or your change institute management kind of structures, but it just gives you something else in your back pocket that you can apply to a particular project or a program or even just a small initiative that you're working on. It's something in there that will be right size that you could right size it to, to your needs. Brilliant, fantastic. So if there was one um, takeaway, one key takeaway that you, that you had, what, what would you be? How would you uh, summarise it? From the course? From the course. What it's given me? <laughs> um, I very much enjoyed um, the, the tools and the information that you're given on here allow it it freed me up to go I don't have to come up with all the answers I don't have to do these epic change plans that are two years out that we know are going to change which a no one reads um, and has turned it into a living breathing tool that's visible that's out there that people can walk past at any stage and understand what's going on um, which I think is is an, an extraordinary step for an organisation to make their change visible because you're kind of tired of explaining all what change management is. So if you can have something that's visible, living, breathing and sparking lots of conversations, that, that has been my biggest take out from, from all of it. Brilliant. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Louise. Um, thank and you. I look forward to hearing um, how your journey progresses. Thank you. Great course. Loved it. <laughs> Brilliant.